Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am going to be doing a favorites video. It's not necessarily just things that I've been using in August, but things I've been using for the past couple of months that I have absolutely been loving. I have one thing that I actually just got in the mail a couple days ago that I wanted to talk about that I haven't used yet, but it's so beautiful. So I wanted to put it in here because I know that it's going to be a favorites very shortly. So. If you want to know what I've been loving for the past couple of months, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about that I just got the other day is the new makeup bags from Allie Glines. I think that these are beautiful. When she put her video out the other day, um, releasing her new addition to her makeup bags, I clicked on the link and bought it. Um, within about 30 seconds because these things are so beautiful and I just couldn't help myself so uh, let's get into this together okay so first it comes in this pretty little bag here and it's super soft and silky with her name on the front of it isn't it just gorgeous so first it has this outer case and it has this beautiful rose gold zipper around it. And how pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. And inside there is, oh, let me get that out of there. There is this little zipper pocket here where you can put some things. It has a little clear window here. And then inside is the two makeup cases with clear windows on them and then her little, the little zippers and her name on it. And then also it has the space back here to put palettes or bottles or whatever else that you need or brushes. I just thought this was so adorable and such a genius idea. I love it. I love the colors. I think it is really, really well made and so cute. So I can't wait to start using this. And these are the little ones. They're both the same size, the ones that are in this one. I got her new addition to her makeup bags. Okay, so I got the classic bag collection and these are, these three bags together are $58. But I really do just love this. I think it is so adorable. I think it is such a good idea. So they fit in here together like that and then you can zip it up and go on your merry way. I think it's beautiful. Such a good idea, Allie. Good job. Okay, so a mascara that I've absolutely been loving. I know that everyone normally when they talk about Essence mascaras, they love the Lash Princess. I don't think I've tried that one yet. I probably should get my hands on that and try that. I actually think that when I bought this mascara, I thought I was buying the Lash Pr Princess one, but that's not the one that I got, so I made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so this one is the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash it's Extensions Mascara. I have been loving this. This is what I have on my eyelashes today. I don't know if you can tell, but it is beautiful. So normally when I wear mascara, I put two mascaras on. I put like a volumizing mascara on, and then I go in with a mascara that has the bristles that kind of spread out your lashes and comb through your lashes so they're not clumpy. This, I just wear this by itself all of the time. It does both for me. It gives me volume, but yet it doesn't make my lashes look clumpy and spidery. It just does everything for me in one mascara and I could not be happier. Okay, so this guy is um, $4.99 on Ulta's website. I think I actually got mine on Amazon if I am correct. I actually think I got mine on Amazon. But either way, it's $5. It's a fantastic mascara. So if you're looking for an affordable mascara that gives you volume and also separates your lashes, this one might be worth giving a shot. So another thing that I have fallen back into love with this past summer is uh, MAC Face and Body. I wear the shade N2. I, will, I probably bought this, I don't know, six years ago. So this is kind of old. That's kind of disgusting. But either way, so I probably bought this like six years ago. So this has probably been sitting in my drawer for about three years and I haven't touched it because I have just been going through other, um, I've been going through other foundations. I've been using other things. So I pulled this back out probably about two months ago and this is such a good foundation, sheer foundation. It's very sheer, but 
it's a really good foundation for the summertime and it feels so good on the skin if you're looking for full coverage this wouldn't be your favorite one to try but if you like sheer coverage this is so so good like i absolutely love this stuff i use my fingers to apply it and then if i see any spots where it looks kind of funky then i'll just take a wet sponge and just kind of pat over it to make it smooth and blend into my skin but i am loving this stuff again i'm so happy i pulled it back out of my drawer and fell back in love with it another favorite of mine are these two elf brushes i am in love with both of these brushes both for different reasons so this brush here is the Airbrush Stipple Brush from e.l.f. This I use to apply cream bronzer. I am so in love with this brush. It's so fantastic. So what I do is normally just open up the cream compact and pat it in there and then put it onto the hollows of my cheeks. I pat it onto the hollows of my cheeks like this and then kind of blend upwards but this is such a good brush for cream bronzer. I love it so much. It has, I don't know if you can tell, has these little tiny bristles up here above it. I really do love this brush. I'm so happy I bought it. I believe it's right around $10 on e.l.f.'s website, but I am so glad that I got this brush. It really has made cream products a dream to put on the skin. So the next e.l.f. brush that I am absolutely in love with is their small stipple brush. I'm sure you've heard everyone talk about this brush, but it is so perfect for cream blush and cream or liquid highlight. It's so good, it works so well. I use this, this brush and this brush almost every day when I'm using cream products. They really do a wonderful job of blending cream products into the skin. They just work so well and it's such an affordable price. I believe this one's right around $4 and this one's right around $10 but both of them are amazing and I would suggest these two brushes to anyone who likes cream products. Okay, I have two skincare products that I have been loving for the past couple of months. Like I said, this isn't just an August thing, this is just for the past few months, probably since the beginning of summer. So the first one is a mist. It's from Youth to the People. This is their Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. This I use all the time. I use it under makeup. I use it after I apply all of my makeup. I use it if just my skin feels kind of dry um, throughout the day. I'll just spritz it onto my skin. I absolutely love it. And the, whoo, got it in my mouth. The mist on this is so fine and so perfect. I mean, I don't think I have ever had a mist so perfect like the mist on this is the probably half of the reason why i love the product so much it is just the perfect mister this has hyaluronic acid in it and it really does soothe the skin but this really does make my skin feel more hydrated like if my skin feels parched throughout the day i'll spritz it on and it just makes everything feel so much better it helps my makeup melt into the skin i really really have been enjoying this so much throughout the summer the next skincare product that i have been loving is by cosrx cosrx and there, it is their Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This stuff I love. I use it after I wash my face and after I put on a toner. This is my very next step. This, I feel like, has definitely improved my skin. I've seen a difference with how hydrated my skin feels and also how soft my skin feels since using this. So I've probably used about a third of the bottle. I don't know if you can tell but I have been using it every night since I bought it and I really, really do love this. And I think that it would probably work for a lot of people who have dry skin. Like if you have dry textured skin, I feel like this would really help your skin. I um, fight, I have been fighting dry textured skin my whole life and I feel like this really has made a huge difference in the texture of my skin. All right guys, so if you have dry skin or dry under eyes, you know that finding an under eye concealer is like one of the hardest things to do because most of the time, most of the 
under eye concealers that people rave and love are like super drying. They make your under eyes look like crap. They, they're kinky and they just look terrible. You'd rather just not wear it than put that on and have it look the way it does after it's applied. So I have, I don't even want to say how many, I, how many under eye concealers I have tried in my life. I mean, I've tried a ton. So I watched a video and I can't remember who it was by, but she was talking about how she has dry under eyes and she went through three different, I think it was three different ones, three different concealers that she has tried and they were one that was light coverage, one that was medium coverage, one that was full coverage. So I bought one of the concealers that she was talking about and actually let me rewind. So I went to Sephora to buy this concealer and I walked in and you know how you have a product in mind that you want to get and the people at Sephora start talking to you and they convince you to buy a completely different product and I did that and I bought what they had suggested for me for my under eyes and it did not work out at all. So now when I go into Sephora I'm just going to say no thank you, I don't need any help, I know what I need. So I think they had me purchase an Estee Lauder under eye concealer. I can't remember what it was called, but it was supposed to be helpful for people who have dry under eyes. Well, it did not work out. I was not happy with it at all. I took it back. I normally don't return things even if I don't like them, but I returned that one and I went and picked up this one instead. So this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. So this concealer is absolutely a dream. I'm in the shade 2N and it is amazing. It's so creamy and so good and I don't think that you have to set it if you use a very small amount. This is not full coverage. This is light medium coverage concealer. So sometimes I do use um, a peach under eye corrector and then put this over top of it just to have that extra coverage but this is so good for people who have dry under eyes. I 100% agree with whoever it was that said that this was a good dry under eye concealer for dry under eyes. This does not bring out the texture underneath of my eyes. This really does work so well and I would recommend this to anyone who has dry or textured under eyes. All right guys, so this next one I'm super excited to talk about. I am in love with sleep sprays like the stuff that you spray on your bed and spray on your pillow i use it every night i have went through i can't even tell you how many bottles i normally go to bath and body works and get their sleep spray but i've i've tried a couple other ones so the one that i'm absolutely in love with and couldn't live without like literally couldn't live without and whenever they have their aromatherapy lines on sale i normally pick up like six different bottles of this because I love it so much. And it's not just a sleep spray, it's different things. Okay, so this is their sleep. It's the, from their aromatherapy line. It's called Sleep. It is their black chamomile scent. This is wonderful. This smells so, so good. I'm telling you guys, the next time that you go into Bath and Body Works, if they have this for you to smell, you have to go smell it and let me know what you think because it is like it's my favorite scent that they have in their aromatherapy line so this is their body lotion this is their body butter and then this is their pillow mist i think it's called pillow mist hold on yes this is their pillow mist which i spray like 47 sprays of it all over my entire bed and my pillow before i go to sleep so I will put this on my hands and my arms before I go to sleep. I sometimes use this on my hands and my arms or my legs or whatever. I have a ritual before I go to bed at night and it is 100% with these things. I love them so much. I've tried a couple different scents, but this one is my absolute favorite. It smells delicious delicious it's amazing. So this one this body butter is definitely a little thicker than this lotion but they all smell the same and they all smell amazing. And I have probably went through three or four of these bottles. I get them every time they're on sale because I use 
the crap out of them. Okay, so one more makeup favorite that I have, and it's by the brand Believe Beauty from Dollar General. It's weird, right? Okay, so this is their cream blush in the shade Doll Face. Okay, so this is super pigmented, and I do use it with this brush. I have this on my face today with this brush and with Doll Face. So here I'm going to swatch it for you and it is just so very pretty. It's like this mauve pink color, but you have to have a light hand with this because it is very pigmented. I don't know if you can see that. I absolutely love it though. It is so pretty and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not a matte finish. It definitely has a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a glow. I just think it is so pretty. Okay, so I have two fails for the past couple of months. So I watched a video, again, I can't remember who it was, who it was by, um, but they were talking about the Revlon Skin Lights and this is in 110 Sunlit Glow. And it looked so pretty when she was applying it, but when I got it, I'm not a super huge fan. If you love like a glittery, shiny bronzer, you would probably love this. I am not into that. I mean, it is just super glittery. Not glittery. Is it glittery? Hold on. Let's watch that. Yeah. It's just very shiny, very shiny and sheeny. It is, it's a very pretty color, but it is just not what I want as for a, from a bronzer. So that was a fail for me. Okay, so now the next thing that I have is kind of a fail, kind of, um, it, it's okay. This is by Maddie Ziegler and Morphe, and it is, uh, pinky swear that's the color of these two it's a lip gloss and then a cheek and lip mousse so the lip gloss is just like a lip gloss it's not too sticky it's not um it doesn't last very long it's just a regular lip gloss for me i would say so i'm going to apply it i already can tell i don't have a mirror so this isn't bad i mean i like it it's nothing super special or anything it's an okay lip gloss so this i was super excited because i really do like this color i think this is a very pretty pink color i thought it would be really good for summertime so it's not pigmented at all like what i'm gonna swatch like i just rub my finger in here and then put it on here I just, it's just not pigmented. It just doesn't work. And maybe it's because I'm a little bit, I have a little bit of sun. I don't know, but I feel like this just did not work out for me. And I was really excited because the color of pink that this is, is so pretty. Um, it's like a moussey texture. It's not like other cream bl blushes I've tried. It's very moussey. It's got a pretty like sheen to it. I can see that little bit of like glowy sheen glossy look on my hand. But it, I just wasn't very excited about it. It doesn't work well for my cheeks. So what I've been using it for is on my lips. So I do like the way that it looks on my lips. So I am going to continue to use it. It doesn't last very long on the lips, but that's okay. I like the way it looks. So, so this isn't a complete failure. It just doesn't work well on my cheeks but I'm going to continue to use it for my lips because I do like it there. So that was it for my hodgepodge of a favorites video. I hope that this video helped. I hope if you had any questions about anything, maybe this video helped you out a little bit and I will see you in the next one.